Hello, welcome to episode 51 of our Ostrich Alpha 4 Let's Play. We are right back at it again because today there has been a patch just a couple of hours ago taking us up to Alpha 4.4. And last time we left off, we had gotten just over a thousand residents in our town. We're in April of 1772. So, some really exciting new stuff in this update. I haven't got a chance to play with it yet, so I figured I'd experience it for the first time with all of you. So I'm glad to have you along. Let's take a look at what we've got here. So in the production window, we have a couple of new things. We have a sheep farm, which is, according to the help text, a place for breeding sheep and production of wool and milk. So that's exciting. And then down here, we have what's called a fulling mill, which produces broadcloth from wool, according to the Twitter. This will be something to get warmer clothing and look at the model for this thing that is just fantastic it looks like it's going to need a straight coast segment so it actually this right here could be a good spot for it we won't get there quite yet and if you see down here there's a next so there's a second page instead of making this uh, area a little bigger they just added a second page and the same stuff that you'd expect to find there is already there as far as trade and transport we don't have anything new here building wise but if we go over to the river trading post here, we will find out on the world map that there is now a second city that we can trade for by boat. So we'll see how that goes. There's a couple other things as well. Let me just mouse over to the change log. Uh, a couple changes, uh, citizens now less likely to make apiaries, that's beehives on their gardens. So uh, <laughs> over here where we have our honey lords or whatever you want to call them i can't remember exactly what i called them but uh that should happen a lot less often uh, of course the other town for river trade that we already went through uh, new resources available to trade with other towns i think we had seen that in one of the previous videos that we had uncovered uh vacant houses can now be on hold so no one can move in we don't have any vacant ones so we can't test that just quite yet carpentry storage capacity has increased eight thousand, so that should help a little bit with our supply issues Smithy storage capacity increased to 6,000 from 5,000. Uh, we can now tan sheepskin in the tannery. Now, if that's old tanneries or new tanneries... Okay, no. So that was actually pushed to the old one. So that is a very helpful update. Uh, help text for hay barracks. So let's actually check that out. Allow you to store hay for animal feeding. You can only store 500 units of hay inside other buildings. So it's recommended to build hay barracks for nearby for hay storage from hay dryers by laborers and cow shed or sheep farm workers okay so that's what we already knew but that is some helpful text if you were a new player or if you just like reading stuff that's fine too we can now produce warm clothing at the tailor's workshop so let's find our tailor's workshop it's somewhere i've got one of them up here yeah right here so i think we're probably gonna have to build a new one to get warm clothes to show up but that will be from sheep uh citizens will now buy warm clothes from the market stall oh boy so yeah, the day I was fearing is finally here that we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to upgrade all of our markets because we are maxed out. So I think we have one down here that is just by itself. Yeah. So let's take a look at this. I don't know if you can see it's kind of small over here. Yeah, we have warm clothes down here at the bottom, and of course uh, mutton is now gonna have an actual use. So that's actually, that's two new, uh, two new things to put in the market that we will get to momentarily when we are finished looking at this change log here. Uh, help text for the Taylor's workshop. Uh, so we can actually go check that out as well. So Taylor's workshop has, okay, regular clothes worn throughout the year. Only need hemp or linen, warm winter clothes, raw materials are broadcloth and tanned sheepskin. So we will, uh, We'll have quite a bit to do in the next couple episodes. That's exciting. Let's see. Citizens will now buy warm clothes, etc. People are a bit more picky on age when getting married. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I'd, I'd made some comments about that with uh, some of the uh, the women marrying extremely old men. I mean, it happens, but mm, I don't know about that one. Uh, let's see. Escape key now stops hovering building, not showing the main menu. Build bar is hidden while hovering buildings. Uh... Shoes, clothes, and warm clothes are now among necessary goods. So let's go to the info overlays and do problems. So I actually don't see clothing being one of the necessary things. So maybe we just haven't had a haven't had a problem with that yet. 
But that is exciting nonetheless. It adds another layer of a difficulty and complexity here. Uh, slightly improved hammering animation. Okay, we'll have to remember to check that out. Minor UI changes. Uh, I haven't noticed anything, so I guess that, that really is minor. And then a couple of bugs as well have been fixed. We've got possible cause of random crashes with subsequent corrupted autosaves. Uh, and that was something that had really been a problem for us in our uh, playthrough the last, maybe the last 10 episodes before I finally just disabled autosave. So we'll see if that is fixed. Uh, Forester stop planting trees was also an issue we had that is supposedly fixed. Uh, could turn house gardens inside out. Well, we never figured that out. Never saw that. Um, flax visible during plowing. Unlimited amounts of resources by hand. Uh, okay. Well, so that's all exciting, cool stuff that has been supposedly fixed. So let's, uh, let's right now find a good spot to put a sheep farm. I think it's probably going to be right around in this area here. Would be a smart place to do it. Yeah, we're just going to get right on into this. I'm very excited. I've been waiting a long time for this update. Spending most of my time either streaming, which I just started doing. We'll talk about that later. And also playing Dawn of Man and some other fun things as well. But I am very happy to be back playing Ostrov once again. This fantastic, wonderful game. And uh, getting to talk to you guys about it. So it looks like right here, uh, this area is probably going to be pretty good for a fulling mill. So let's go ahead and mm, see where would be the best place for this. Well, if it's going to fit here, then I think let's put that right there. Okay, so they're going to get to work building that. And we're going to build our sheep farm as well. So why not right next to our fulling mill. Let's go ahead and pop this guy right there. We'll actually build the sheep farm first. We'll go ahead and give them a boost to get that done. And let's see. We'll probably have to build another, uh, another, uh, what do you call it? No, it's not on that page. Taylor's workshop, that's right. So why don't we actually concentrate all of our sheep stuff right about here? We'll put that Taylor's Workshop right there. And then we'll put another tannery right about here. We'll leave a little bit of space. Let's see if we can do one of these numbers here. I think that'll be fine. And of course, we'll have to build a platform right next to the tannery because it uses a ton of water. So we'll put that there. Make sure we have that done before the tannery is done. We can actually push this all the way back out there. But hopefully we can get this uh, this uh, sheep farm. There it is. Get the sheep farm done. So we can see exactly what that is going to look like. Very, very exciting stuff. I want to see this new hammering animation too, but I don't know if we're going to get it just quite yet. We'll see uh, what other resources they have to supply. Looks like they are just about done bringing stuff in outside of thatch and nails. So let's just kind of sit here and watch and see how long it takes them to actually get to hammering something. So I want to see this new animation. If they went through the trouble of putting it in the patch notes, so you know it has to probably be pretty good. Now here comes the wood. And the empty horses and carts are just kind of, uh, kind of sitting here for some reason. I don't know what that's about. But I'm just, honestly, I'm just kind of glad that the, uh, <laughs> the thousand citizen town is actually working for something like this. Last couple big updates has kind of broken my saves and I've had to start over, so I'm glad we don't have to do that because it took a long time to get to where we were. How close are we? Okay, just waiting for thatch, and I know they're still making thatch because somebody is still employed there. Come on, I want to see people do some hammering here. All right, so we have all the resources, so they should be starting soon, no? You'd think. I know these guys love to just stay here for some reason. 
And I don't see any hammering animation, so maybe maybe in our maybe in our town it just isn't happening. So we can uh we can just kinda leave them alone. So these guys, well we'll have to buy iron. We always need to buy iron. Uh nails, we'll go ahead and buy some nails. We will sell sunflower oil as always. Clothing we don't have enough to sell. Honey, we're not exporting metal parts, we're never exporting horse tech, we're not exporting. Uh, not selling potatoes. Sheep. Mm, okay, so they're going to be here for 15 more days. But we know that they have sheep, so if we have to, we can send a messenger here. If we can get this sheep farm built before these people have to leave, then uh, we'll get some sheep. And I don't know who else has sheep, but this they're just the first people that popped up, and they happen to have them. So... Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, to get him here, because we are we're nowhere close to being done with this. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Construction office is uh, sitting there. They've got wood for the fulling mill. It's kind of a... That wood looks weird for some reason. Oh, okay, because it's, uh, it's on a slope, and it's not sliding down. All right. Oh, so now... Okay, this is cool. Clothes quality, 3 out of 5, warm clothes quality, 1 out of 5, shoes quality. So I guess now we actually have to kind of have to care about how our uh, our clothes and our shoes are doing. So that is an exciting change to be sure. Let's see, what else is going on over here? All work is done. Okay, well, I'll take your word for it. We still don't have any empty houses. I was very curious about pausing houses, so that actually could be very helpful. Like, for example, this area up here, if we wanted to just build the whole thing out and then open it up all at once and not have to worry about people not having access to market stalls or anything like that, then that is a very, very good development indeed. And they, they are just, they're slower than Christmas building the sheep farm, so I'm glad we didn't get any sheep. So I don't think there's anything else that we really need to cover as far as the new thing. We're just kind of waiting for stuff to happen. But they're actually making progress on this. We can sit here and watch this now. They're just taking a little bit longer than I would uh, personally prefer. But this is a brand new building, so it's always fun to watch these things go up. Again, I just really love the intricate, detailed beam work they've got going on for this. And especially the fulling mill, when that happens, we are definitely going to watch that get built. Because uh, if you remember, on the Ostrov Game Twitter account, the dev posted numerous updates about the development of the building and all the different animations and talking about all the like, tens of thousands of individual parts for this. So we're, we're going to appreciate it for sure. And here's our new... Let's actually go ahead and pause to take a look at this because I want to watch the rest of this getting built. This is our new trading partner by River. Looks like they're demanding sheep hides, cucumbers, potatoes, and flour, offering lime, iron, wool, sheepskin, and buckwheat. So we're going to go ahead and buy iron again. And it's actually good that they offer lime because I'm pretty sure we are out of lime on the map here. Sheep hides, okay, 10 cents per unit, so that's nothing huge. Cucumber, we're not currently exporting, but we possibly could. Potatoes, we won't export. Flour, we are able to export, so we'll go ahead and sell 2,000 of them to their sheepskin. They are charging 25 cents a piece. Wool, they're charging 10 cents a piece. So, yeah, that's a pretty valuable trading partner, actually, now that we have the ability to mess with sheep. So, oh, there's a second floor up here. Okay, that's what that is. Very exciting stuff here. So it looks kind of similar to a cow shed, but with a second floor for storage of, possibly storage of hay or something. We'll see what else gets put in the building before it's finished. Very interesting though. The exterior staircase leads me to believe that's not for the animals to get up to. Instead would just be for storage or possibly processing or something. So we'll see, rafters are going up here. I don't think it's going to show us any more details of the inside unless they really wanted there to be something there for us to look at. I just, I love this. This is so cool looking. And there goes the thatch. 
and it should be just about done. All right, so that is the sheep farm. We'll go ahead and hire our workers. Probably should be just women. Because you know how this goes. We'll go ahead. Nope, nope, didn't want to click that. Let's see, what can we supply here? Of course, we have to click all of our wonderful things here. Max 500. And then water. We'll try getting a pretty good amount here. and we'll see if it lets us to 1,000. And it looks like it will. So, that is very good news. We'll have to add a sheep pasture, I believe. In case there's not a fallow field available. Okay, so I can't put that there. We're going to have to go over here. I think behind this thing. Behind the tannery, maybe? Alright, so we're actually going to have to think about this just a little bit here. Okay, so 16 units. And we'll, we'll just do that. That'll be fine. More than adequate. All right, so the fulling mill. I know I said we were going to watch this, but we uh, we missed out on a lot of it. So it looks like it goes over the water. It's got a platform. I know there's going to be some sort of wheel that rotates. I can't find nails anywhere. Well, we have iron, so they should be coming up soon. I think, if I remember correctly, this is like the most complex uh, model in the game to date. So I'm excited to see how the rest of this looks. So that is our fulling mill. What a really interesting design. It looks like it's actually two boats connected through the middle with this thing. Now when they were building it, the, build, the, the boats were up on stilts. And I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. But then they finished and went back down into the water. That is such a cool, intricate design. I absolutely love it. You can see all the gears. I'll try to remember to zoom in here in my editing software so you can see all this. But look at that. That is fantastic. That is absolutely a masterful work done by the developer on this. So that's really exciting. So that's producing broadcloth. We'll, of course, have this set up. We'll go ahead and hire people. Oh, women can work here too. Okay. All right. So looks like we are doing pretty well. We just need some sheep. Just need some sheep. While we're waiting for that, we can go ahead and put in a couple of hay barracks. We'll put one... Actually, can we even fit one in here? We can't. But I think we can do one... No? Uneven terrain. Okay, I guess we can't. So we'll put one here. One here. And one more right there. So that's very exciting. We can get our sheep going in just a little bit here. But we actually have money to call a messenger. So let's go ahead and go to uh, these people and try to get some sheep. Unless I completely misremembered as to uh, which people can actually, you know, get us sheep. But we will uh, we'll find out, won't we? And of course, this uh, platform is now built, which means this tannery can function properly. But we won't have to worry about that for a while. I'm just excited to have both of these new buildings up and running. Once we get the sheep in, at least. The pasture is connected there. So yeah, things are going pretty well. I'm very excited about that. Okay, so Darkachi's here, actually. 
And we're going to buy iron from them, because we always need to buy iron. Go ahead and buy sallow, because we have the ability to. Shoes we can sell. Charcoal we can always sell. Chicken eggs we can't sell. Sunflower oil. Mm, raspberries? No, we're not exporting those anymore. Although we can't export honey, we might have to be uh, tempted to do that. Okay, so... Oh, they don't sell sheep, they sell the sheep products. Okay, well, I did a dumb, so instead, I think it was these people that had uh, sheep. So, we'll try to remember that. I don't know, now the snow's melting, so we can actually get a look at this stuff in the uh, proper context. Yeah. I, re I really like the look of both of these new buildings. That is very exciting. And we are just about at the spot where we can see if these people are the ones that have sheep. And... Come on. There we go. Yeah, they've got sheep. So we've got male sheep and female sheep. We'll go ahead and get... Two rams and ten regular sheep. Buy more iron since we're already here. We'll probably need lime. Yeah, we'll go ahead and buy some lime, buy some nails. Sell some sunflower oil. Yeah, we are looking pretty good. I cannot wait for these sheep to get here. And we'll see exactly what's going to be uh, happening here. Yeah, things are going swimmingly here. Let's not forget to add a little bit of benches over here. We put right in front of the stairs, not blocking though. And how about some trees? Birch trees we can do just because we can. Just kind of decorate this area over here. All right, so this tannery is fixed. We're just going to do sheepskin over here. And we can... No, I didn't want that. I clicked the wrong button in the wrong place, but that's fine. We can fix it. We'll go here and apply those settings. And now this can be just for sheep. And it looks like our wonderful, beautiful sheep have arrived. Absolutely fantastic. And we're already getting wool. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now they should... Are they not going to put them out in a pasture? Maybe not. Wow, we already have that much wool. Alright, so now, is the fulling mill going to be in action here? Okay, no wool for broadcloth production. Now it's loading up. Alright, I want to see this thing go. That's so cool. There's somebody inside doing something there. I guess they're uh, they're still awaiting it. Okay, well, I was hoping it would be a little faster than that. But uh, good things come to those who wait, I suppose. So if that thing starts turning, then I think we should. Go take a look at that again. So I guess we can just go ahead and get all of this figured out. Yep, looks like it. And we're still waiting on wool. Still waiting on laborers. So we actually might have a shortage of laborers. I think a, a while back we had a couple horses die as well. But where? So it's, wow, it's certainly not here. Maybe it was a... Uh... Okay, it was this one ran out of hay. Alright, well, we can come over here. And turn... These three into draft horses. And then we can go ahead and drag them up here. Try and get that fixed up. 
And then this last one. And there's those white lines again. That's annoying, but I guess just part of the game. Now, why are these people having such a hard time moving the wool? Okay, so now it's actually kind of moving in there. I want to I see this do something before we are out of time for today's episode. We got 75. I guess it's just a matter of not having enough laborers. 150. Does it have to get all the way up to a, a full batch before it does anything? I hope not. 195. Oh, come on. Getting milk out of the sheep is a absolute power play as well. That will really help our supply of milk and milk products. Okay, so neither of these people are actually at work. Well, I guess this guy's supplying resources, but it looks like he's just kind of stuck. So, okay, that's 320. So he's actually in inside the fulling mill doing something here. And this guy's, I guess, going to fish right next to that, so that's okay. And they're tanning... Oh, they're tanning sheepskin. So that's exciting. And then once that's done, then we can start making... And we're back. The game has crashed, predictably, as Ostriff is wont to do sometimes. But I managed to rebuild and get back more or less to where we were. Got a healthy complement of 15 sheep. We've got a tannery starting the process of getting a batch of uh, sheep leather, I guess, whatever the name for it is, actually. Pulling mill is already processed a little bit of uh, broadcloth. Broadcloth, of course, going into somewhere. I don't know. But uh, we will get that all figured out. Where is the closest slaughterhouse? Is it up here? Yes. Okay, so they slaughter sheep here as well. So I guess when our sheep get too old, they will go there to be processed. All right, sell some salt, sell some more shoes, sunflower oil, and we can actually buy broadcloth from Marifa, it looks like. Uh, it's actually pretty cheap. And then warm clothes sell for twice as much. But uh, well, I want to make all our own stuff, so the sheep right now are going over to this farm over here, where they will spend their summer, I suppose. And they'll do their thing. So yeah, this is more or less everything that there is in the new update, minus some of the trading things that we uh, haven't really messed with. But we are on our way to getting all sorts of good sheep products. We've got broadcloth in the tailor's workshop. We've got a fulling mill that is poised and ready to go. Yeah, see? Turning right here, you see the, the gears working in there. I think it's fantastic. That is just such a cool thing to watch. And the angle on this end, you can't really see too much, but gears are turning, and it looks like it's turning some sort of weaving loom in there. But yeah, that is, uh, that's update 4.4. I think technically hotfix 1, for, so 4.4.1. Yeah, we've got a lot of progress. We have set up the origins for a very fantastic addition to our town. And I'm excited to see what happens next in this game. There's all sorts of other stuff we can be doing. And we will be getting back into some Ostra videos and possibly some live streaming as well. And that's right, if you were not previously aware, I have started live streaming on twitch.tv slash jcthebeard. I'll put a link in the description. Now, right now I'm playing Persona 5 Royal, which is a fun JRPG game. But I'll be doing some Ostra as well over there. 
and a couple other new things that I haven't revealed yet. But aside from that, that is all the time we've got for today's episode. Pretty fun update. Uh, go ahead and download it, get going on that, and I'd love to see and hear your thoughts on it. But yeah, that's all the time we've got for today. Thank you so much for watching as always, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.